Hello, it's Grandma Jackie, and I am back with a bonus video. This video, I think, is going to post on Saturday because I am going to film a Dollar Tree haul after this for my Friday haul. I have about an hour before I have to go to work. Welcome, everyone, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have some secondhand thrift store stuff I just want to show you. All my awesome finds that I just found. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Oh my goodness. Let's start at the Goodwill because it is not so much. Um, where's my scissors? Scissors. I hope everyone is having a good day. It's kind of chilly and cold here today, but it is a Friday that I'm filming this. Of course, you guys will see this on a Saturday. Um, I get these bags from the Goodwill for certain prices. Uh, let's see, this one said seasonal. It was $2.99. And I just, I wanted to pull the stuff out of here to show it to you. So this, I believe, is an ornament. But this is the main reason I got the bag. But there's other reasons. Um, a little, like, gingerbread church. And I think you put the little light from your light strand on your tree in here. And then it's got the little thing at the top to where you hang it. Isn't that cool? And look, the steeple is a um, ice cream cone. <laughs> so I just thought that was gorgeous. So that's one of the reasons that I got the bag. Um, another one is, um, this is a ornament or a tree decoration from the Dollar Tree. It's got a, a tag on it still. And look, it still works, you guys. It still works. Who knows how long that's been in there. But yeah, I, I picked that up. So you, you know that would have cost it a dollar. Then I got this, which I thought was kind of original. It's wood. And it is an ornament. But look at this. It's like a Santa. How original is that? I've never seen one like this. So anyways, I picked that up in this bag and then there's a couple of little figurines in here if you will but this is so darn cute look at this it's Santa hugging a snowman and then this one is just a little snowman that has a like patchwork quilt on and his little cute little scarf there how cute is that $2.99 so I thought that was a really good deal for $2.99. I haven't had anything to eat yet, so I'm, I'm hoping to eat something really quick. Here in a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be one of them nights where I won't get a break, so. Because last I knew, I didn't have another nurse scheduled to work with me. Okay, here's another bag. It says seasonal and it was $1.99. And it just, they had some interesting stuff in here. So I'll just show you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, this says ice cream solves everything. And it's just a little snowman. You can see that. And look, he's got a little ice cream charm right here. Look at that. How cute is that? pretty stinking cute. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you look at the little bags whenever you go to Goodwill because you never know what you're going to find. Here's one that says, I scream you. And we all scream for, of course, ice cream. And it is an ornament because it's got the little doodad there on top too. I thought that was kind of cute for anybody that's having like a candy land sort of um thing going on for Christmas. Here's another one that kind of matches the other one. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a, here's a snowman that says, the beach is calling and I must go. Look at this little snowman. And he has little sunglasses. Let's see if I can flip these over. Little sunglass charm there. <laughs> How cute! Oh my goodness. So, there's that. Here is another one 
from Goodwill. It was $2.99. This is going to go in my craft section because I've seen a whole bunch of these like angel wings in here. Different types and styles of them. So I'm going to just maybe pull out a couple just to show you. There's different sizes too now that I'm opening it. There is this little size of angel wings. Then there's a two pack, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's two in here. Three in here, and it looks like it was a Walmart find on clearance. So yeah, there's several of those in there. And then there's also several of these in there. Angel wings, different sizes. So, like, you know, I can definitely do something with that out in the shed. Most definitely. Then I got this, it was seasonal, it was $1.99, and it was a pewter ornament frame, but you can put a picture in there. Of course, ornament frame, you know. $1.99 from the Goodwill. And then the other thing that I got at the Goodwill, I'm going to have to move some stuff to get to it, was this little dome tent. And I checked it out. Everything is in it. It's a six foot by five foot junior dome tent. It sleeps two in one room. And it was $8.99. So if you know the prices of these and they go like you can get them, like when they're on sale, sometimes 20 bucks. So this was $8.99, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then I'll just show you this. This is from a different type of a secondhand store. It's called like a Restore. Um, but this is a brand new um, slicker suit and it was $3. So I just thought maybe my son would be able to use that, my oldest son. this I seen these at Cracker Barrel and I had thought about getting them but I was like no I can't they're too expensive this was four dollars four dollars and it works brand new um, look isn't that awesome Flamingo Fred this one was actually at, it looks like Hobby Lobby because it's got a spring shop um, price tag on it for $39.99. So I'm so sure somebody got it on sale for $20, bucks, but it ended up being 4 But they have a bunch of these at Cracker Barrel, and they're gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. One more thing from this little store. I didn't get a whole lot from there. Um... Well, actually, I have one little bag down there, too, but I'll show you. This was 50 cents. I thought this could go in my kitchen for my little gingerbread candy land theme that I've got going on in there. And it was 50 cents. So I thought that was really cute. And then in this bag, it just has a few sprigs. Sorry, that's going to be loud. That was the microphone. And I have to hit it at least once a video or it's not me. Okay. So I'll just show you some of these sprigs, which I thought was a really good deal. They probably originally was at Hobby Lobby. This sprig in particular was a dollar. There's another big sprig in here. This sprig was $3. It's much bigger. And this sprig was 25 cents. And then this sprig was a dollar. Definitely part of Christmas decoration. doesn't love the flocking right okay so moving on to another secondhand store now this is my favorite secondhand store and um, it has 
much cheaper deals, if you will. I'm gonna try to... I don't want things to come tumbling down on me, but there's quite a few things here. Sorry for the crinkling, but I didn't get stuff out of bags. Sorry for the background, I'm still in declutter boot camp. This I got, and it's just an Americana Snowman, and it was a dollar. Just made out of like a light, I don't even know how to describe it. Really light. I could pass up on that. And here's another snowman for a dollar. And he's very glittered frosted. He is breakable though. Slip him back there. Then I got a Julie Garwood um, book for, it says $4.50 on it, but that's not the price. The price of the paperback books are a dollar. So, Julie Gar Garwood murder list. This little snowman, kind of rustic looking, I feel like he probably came from Hobby Lobby at one point too, but he was a dollar. Some ribbon here it looks like Martha Stewart everyday ribbon and it's 25 foot um, it doesn't look like I kind of opened it a little bit it doesn't look like any's been taken off and it was a dollar they usually sell this probably at Walmart here is some what's it called trinklets sack of stickers there's a hundred stickers inside each one of these and I got this guys for 50 cents look at these so that was a pretty awesome little find then I got this little um, rustic heart decoration kind of goes with my shelf up here that's why I got it um, it just says love and it is I don't know like a plastic it was a dollar I hit the microphone again I'm sorry <laughs> Oh my lord. This is um, some burlap and it just put me in mind of kind of like Grinchy, I guess. It was $1.99. I think the blue might have been on sale that day, so it might have even been cheaper than that. Then I got this and it was 50 cents and it's just one of them plastic round things to where you can. Um, do your Christmas lights. That would be kind of helpful for a few strands. This was a dollar and it's definitely Ray Dunn. And it, is, it says Mary, believe, and fa la la. That was a dollar. So, actually, really, really good finds at that store. Here's my receipt. Thank goodness. I, I need to put receipts in my purse in my purse and then all ornaments that weren't priced were 25 cents so this was 25 cents and this was 25 cents oh that's my mail this bag of beads that you could really take apart if you wanted to or you can keep I don't know how many foot there is up here this is only a dollar you guys dollar. That's definitely worth having it either in your decor or your craft stash. So, still going, still going, still going. I got this and it says, for unto us a child is born. It was a dollar and where's the doodad? Here it is. It works. Okay, it did work. Well, it did work. I must have left it on. All these little stars have little things in it. There's a thing. Don't replace the battery. So I probably left it on, knowing me. <laughs> then I got this bag, and it's 50 cents of frosty snow. It says realistic decorative snow. So I 
that by it to decorate with, of course. Then this was a steal, it was a good find. This was a dollar, and it's one of them travertine bowls, and it says reindeer snacks. How awesome is that? We can feed the reindeer. Still going. Oops. I was trying to find it. Here it is. Buried under here. That was a different sack. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, this one. It is like a real uh, heavy iron and wood sleigh type of thing. You can put a candle holder in it. It came with that or not. You can do something different with it. It was a dollar. But look at the price on the back of this. $19. $19. I probably wouldn't have paid $19. Okay. Then, just very quickly, I'll just show you. I got a another flannel-looking shirt for myself. I tried it on in the store. I'm that person. Then I got this for Lila, just for a big sleep shirt. It says running the show. <laughs> and then I got me a pair of those um, Reese's stretch leggings thingy, my puppies. So, and those I think were like, I think the shirts are $2.99 and the pants are like $3.99 or something like that. So yeah, those have to go get washed. Then, ah, oh, what did I want to show? Let's do Big Lots. Big Lots. I stopped in there. I haven't been there in a long time. Oh, here's my receipt. Yay! Save that back. I did purchase an egg timer just to throw in for whenever I'm boiling my eggs. Usually I just boil them and then hold them up to the air and once they dry they're done. But I thought this way you can like time. I didn't have one. I think it was like a couple bucks. I don't really remember. Then I got this eyeshadow palette and it was five dollars. But these are all the colors that I will probably wear. And it's LA colors. I'm not lucky enough to find any of that super stuff at uh um, Dollar Tree, so I got this. This was five dollars, and I've been wanting one of these to rest um, different spoons, you know, that we stir with. And my kitchen mostly is some of this color, I don't know, it's a little bit of all different colors. Oh, and then I got some Calgon Take Me Away lavender and honey bubble bath. This was three dollars, pretty sure it was three dollars. Then I don't know why I should put this in a separate bag, but okay. We had had some french fry seasoning before that we only find at Big Lots, and we really like it. Um, but it was all expired, so I chucked it whenever I redid my seasonings. So I found another thing at the french fry seasonings. I believe it was a dollar. So yeah, this stuff is actually pretty good on french fries. So that was it from Big Lots. Now I want to show you Hobby Lobby. I got this, it was 50% off, so oh my lord, oh. $8.50, $8.50, and this is just like you throw this down and you can put another rug on top of it. But I have those waffle things from the Dollar Tree that you put underneath of it so it makes rugs not slide. So this is actually just going to go in my bedroom around Christmas time, um, beside my bed. So there's that. I have to move some of this stuff out of my way. Then, okay, I decided, and I already showed you in a collective haul yesterday some Christmas movies and things like that, that I was going to do for like my my son and my daughter's family and then their kids. Little um, 
baskets. So part of their little basket, I have to dig all this stuff out because we just use this instead of a bag, which is perfectly fine. But um, I wanted to do like a Christmas movie themed um, basket for them. So it just pulls the family closer together and they can just snuggle down on a cold night. So I got two of these, one for my son Justin's family and one for my daughter Ashley's family. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's like kind of like a popcorn bucket and these were $3.99 half off, so $2 a piece. So you've seen that I got Christmas movies to put in it. I have some other stuff to put in it too. So that is definitely a theme going on for like the bulk of their, their Christmas, if you will. Okay, and then I got ribbon, of course, and this is like crushed velvet ribbon, 50% off, so they were all $3.50 a piece, and there's 21 feet in each one. I got the black, the white, and the red. And this is definitely going to be for um, Christmas decor, and probably some wrapping too, I'm not positive. So, okay. Then, uh, my kitchen is gonna be gingerbread and like a candy lamb thing. So I got these ornaments. These are so stinking cute. They were $2 a piece. So, so cute. Then I got these ornaments. Get off of there. These are like Christmas cookies, but decorated. And they were $1.50 a piece. So I got it in the pink. And I don't know if you could see like the frosting glittery and the blue and then the green so so cute and then I got fake cupcakes and these are kind of squishy um, these were let's see 350 a piece but I really liked how they they come together and you can set them out on your tear tray and stuff oh so cute okay then um, this was $2.50 and it's mini tree cones. So I thought I can do some crafting and making some little trees. Here is a little set of buttons and I decorate sometimes with buttons a lot in my crafts. And this was $1.50. So cute, so cute. Then this was $1.50 and it's just the gingerbread stickers. And I have this in mind for an upcoming DIY this week. That's why I had to get this stuff done. Then I also purchased this um, Old World Winter. There's 48 sheets in here of this like cardstock and it was $3.50. That's the different designs on it. These are beautiful. I don't know if you can see those designs. They're so pretty. They're kind of like taped, so I don't want to tear it up. And then last but not least from Hobby Lobby is this um, Merry Christmas um, banner. And it kind of matches the theme that I have going on in my bedroom. So this would have been $7.50. And it spells out Merry Christmas. But yeah, that's my collective haul for today. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I will catch you later. Please stay safe, take care of yourself, and come back for Dollar Tree, y'all.